we've just spotted some really good sign on the bottom. So we finally got Tim out. He's been here four times. It's four times he's tried to make it. He just cleared the backpack there. He drives up from Brizzy. Like, like I say, four trips in a row and he's had to end up on the beach because the surf just got the better of him because he hasn't spent the time or haven't been able to spend the time with us practicing. The most important part now he's out the back, so that's a start. We'll worry about the coming back in later. underneath there. I'm dropping uh, the 5 inch jerk shad on a 3.8 jig head. It's quite light so it's taking a while to get down there. I, I still see them on the bottom. Uh oh, two lines out. It's going to go bad. Just get around that, how about that, that worked. <laughs> Everything ready to go back to the beach. 
I left my white plastic out the back and it just got gulped by something and I'm oh, probably 500 meters from the beach. So that's been on the bottom, something's grabbed it off the bottom so let's wait and see what we got. Come back to deep rigging in a minute. So cool, I can see it on the sounder. It's sitting at about 10 meters and we're in 17 meters. shot sunk into the tail well we actually just caught the tail because it's really hard to get the head and then it just went nuts and nearly pulled me out of the kayak so when it took off I let go of the gaff and then it came around the other side of the boat flicked the line out that lure hit me in the leg and then the gaff popped up floated away and the fish is gone with a little hole on his tail can't complain I've got a cobia for dinner I've got a sweet lip for dinner and a little Spanish mackerel so I got plenty to eat 